Wow, Israel. High school is amazing, bro. It's the second day of school and I've made so many friends. This is gonna be amazing, bro. This is, high school is just freaking so cool. Yes, it truly is magnificent. Well, I gotta go. My first class is uh, American government, I think. It's B-Day. Uh, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. <coughs> Hello, class. My name is Mr. Gio. Take your seats and meet the students at your group table. Hello, uh, my name's Daniel. What's your name? My name's Rashad. You wanna be friends? Of course. And we'll never have any problems ever. <laughs> Rashad is really fake. Rashad is half baked. He'll only say nice things about you if it's for his sake. Okay, so the half baked thing. I'll just address it here. That line is kind of random and it doesn't really mean anything. I just said it. Every other time he's got something smart to say, Rashad is as fake as Fiona and Cake. I still think people don't get this line. Fiona and Cake are fictional characters who are fictional to other fictional characters. If you remember Adventure Time, they were in Ice King's fan fiction. Cringy jokes, cringy jokes, prison coat has no hope. Yo, you'd be better off selling some dope. Rashad's jokes sometimes are uh, pretty cringe. He'll say something like, your name isn't Daniel, right? It's Daniel wrong. Just to be clear, I don't think he's ever said that, but he'll say stuff like that. And to this day, I've never seen Rashad wear a coat and we've gone to school in all types of weather. Rashad, I see you always trying to sneak diss. Every time you shoot, it is always a clean miss. Rashad used to sneak diss a lot. I'll get into that more in the Y section. And we used to play basketball sometimes in gym. And he would call me trash. And he wasn't exactly a sharpshooter. Your bars make me sick. They give me a cough. When I'm on the track, I explode like Laura Croft. We were in English class one day sitting at this table. It was me, Rashad, Chris, or Kur. You'll find out more about him in this series. Amizi, again, we'll find out more. And Zane, someone I knew in freshman year. So we were sitting there, bored, and we started freestyle. Zane goes first. He was okay, I guess. You know, I go, and you already know it's Fire Flame production. You know, I'm just spitting, it's all off the dome and flowing. And I think I made it look easy, okay? I, I think I just made it look easy. And, you know, people were like, yeah, if Daniel can do it, you know, maybe I can do it. And, uh, yeah, uh, it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't, uh, you know, good. You know I'm on this track and I'm really freaking bossing. Question those photos of your cat after Shane Dawson. So, Rashad has cats, and he used to show photos of those cats in history class. And you know, around, around that time, Shane, the Shane Dawson stuff happened, you know, you know, with the cats, you know, Shane Dawson. And you need to stop talking mess about my freaking channel, cause I'm about to light you up like a freaking candle. Fun fact, I actually messed that line up, and instead of saying light, I said like, but you know, that's cool. Um, and I'm pretty passionate about this channel, you know? You know I, I freaking love this channel. It's cool, you know? Every time I see you, it's a mission abort. Every time you speak, I get a case of the snores. Gosh, you're abort. Joke's so cringy, it gives me a sore. Please stop no more. Um, so, uh, I would like to end this by, by saying me and Rashad are still, you know, friends. We are pretty good friends. Uh, and, uh, yeah. The day is February 16th, the channel's birthday, and mine, for those who didn't know. And every time we pass the channel's birthday, I go into YouTuber mode. I start putting out content, not being advertised again. Fast forward to early March, and uh, things are not looking too good. I'm uploading Minecraft videos, and it's just going horrible. It's, it's just going very, very bad. 
So I'm thinking, you know, what else can I do? You know, I need to try something new, something different. And uh, there was this kid in my English and Spanish class named Andrew. And somehow or another, he found out about my channel. Either I told him, or Rashad told him, or Chris, or Israel, you know, some, someone. But, you know, at some point, he's scrolling through my channel. Scrolling through my vids, through my vids, and he stops at Sucker Israel. And he's like, what is this? And I'm like, uh, you know, that's uh, a diss track, you know, that's, uh, you know, maybe don't watch that video. You know, he, he clicks on the video. And he's listening to it and he's like, yo, 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 this, this right here, this is entertainment. This is content. I would watch these videos if you made more. And I'm like, uh, you know, uh, maybe not. Fast forward. And apparently it's confirmed that I'm doing a diss track. So I'm like, yo. I never said I was making a diss track. Why are people saying you're making a diss track? You know, this is a word around the school. That's that's what I mean by people, because of course, you know, I wasn't I'm not relevant. Well, you know, in the comments they're like, Dis Rashad, Dis Rashad, and I'm like, hmm, this might be alright. Now, as you'll see with the later diss tracks, motivation is a big, big factor in the diss track. I gotta know the person and want to diss them. I didn't have to dig that deep to find that desire to diss Rashad. Instead of explaining how I felt, let me just tell you guys a story. Me and Rashad had the same gym period. The gym classes were usually split up. We had the fitness foundation slash ninth graders who were f taking the class because they had to. And you had the team sports people. They were people who had already passed gym. And they were taking gym again because they were good at it and they liked it, something like that. So I know you guys can guess who were probably the most skilled at gym. You know, it was team sports, of course. And every now and then, fitness foundation kids would be put up against team sports kids. And you know, the team sports kids are always a challenge, of course, you know? So. One day, me and Rashad are on the same team, and we're against the team sports kids. And, you know, we win. And it's like, yo, that's pretty cool. And, you know, instead of telling you guys what Rashad does, I just want you guys to watch this. Okay, so we somehow beat the team. You know, I'm there, I'm here like, Yo, we won. This is pretty cool. You know, I'm, I'm excited. Rashad's like, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, I, I think we're both on the same page. And then an upperclassman walks in. Wait, you guys weren't actually trying, were you? And before I'm able to say anything, Rashad's like, no, 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 no. He was trying. Enough of those moments will fuel a diss track. Like with Sucker Israel, this diss track was recorded on Audacity, but this time with reverb. I also recorded with a mic I use for Discord nowadays. I was listening to Gamethazine one day and I came across this song, Shoot Me. I didn't like it, but I loved the instrumental, so I used it. For writing, I would freestyle to the instrumental again and again until I got stuff I liked. As time went on, more and more people were becoming interested in the diss track. There was one point where I had written a chunk, a good chunk of the diss track, and I showed it to everyone, including Rashad. I know, I know. And you know, Rashad, you know, he's reading it, and he's, he's just, everyone's reading it, and then after it, I'm like, I don't, I don't really like this, so I scrapped everything that I showed them, 
except for like the chorus or something. I don't. I kept a small portion of it. I don't know where. I don't. I don't have the original joint anymore. But anyway, I kept a small portion of it and I rewrote the entire thing. You know, as I'm doing that, people are like, "Yo, where is this diss track? Where is this diss track? The diss track? Can we just get a snippet? Can we get a snippet?" You know, and I'm like, you know what? You guys want a snippet? You guys want a snippet? And I gave them like this this very trash snippet you know i found this earl sweatshirt instrumental and i'm just rapping on it it was uh yeah um and they were like yo this is this is bad this is trash this is gonna be trash because you know I, i'm sure they were expecting you know the same quality as sucker israel so i gave them that thing and their expectation expectations were lowered and i think that's part of the reason why you know, when I released the actual diss track, you know, it was received, you know, better. But you know, uh, when I released the snippet, I, I'm at school the next day and like, yo, this is trash, this is very, you know, bad. And you know, I walk up to Dorichi and I'm like, yo, like this, this isn't the actual diss track. I made it bad on purpose. And he's like, nah, this was a, uh, this was you trying and i'm like no 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 like i made it bad on purpose and he's like no this is you trying and i'm like okay so i get home that day and i finish the diss track and i release it that day okay okay so at the time of me writing this video uh this diss track is my most viewed diss track of all time but uh you know at the time of me recording this uh this video this note has surpassed it so it's my number two diss track and you know you, you can tell like the views on the diss tracks are, are just different from the views on my regular videos you know, so you know that's pretty cool so yeah that's no one took this seriously again I mean I feel like people took this more seriously because you know it was like a diss track diss track you know but uh this diss track is what started it all I don't regret it it is the catalyst for you know most of my diss tracks but yeah that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me how you like this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry for not uploading a lot. You know. Yeah.